So our back to finish our Bouvier. Um, so far we've got you know, the skirt going. Um, it's like that on both sides. We're going to go ahead and work on our skirt. Keep in mind, I'm just going to pull in the leg up a little bit because Dad wants to keep the legs longer. But all this is going to go shorter. Um, Dad really wants to take her short, so we're going to go ahead and um, do it with a three quarters. Um, some people also call it a A cone. Uh, so that's good. If you are just joining, we're doing a, um, a modified booty A cone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this on the back leg. I'm not going to go all the way down because the 50 feet is already short enough. So we're just going to keep that short. I'm having a really hard time standing. I had to take a break on the video because he went to the bathroom, so I have to like wash his butt. big dip um you know here so it don't work i'm just gonna blend that right in you'll never even notice it come on all right 
So you just lightly do it. And here we go. Oh baby, alright. Alright, we're gonna work on the chest and practice basically do the same thing. Okay. Um, I shaped his belly with a number 10. Uh, because we, there was some matting on there. Um, but anyways, his dad always get a tunnel belly. A tunnel belly just means that you shave the belly from, uh, you know, chest, leaving the front here, just shave the chest down. And I recommend that for a dog that has like really, really long hair. Um, you know, pet parents, the tunnel belly, like I said, you shave them from here down. Um, if you have a dog that has really, really long hair, and um, you know, it, it, it definitely helps. It helps with the matting. It helps not having to put them through that, um, you know, hard time of brushing. Because most pet parents, they tell you to brush, they brush the top of the dog and then everything else stays. And it becomes, you know, this big giant mat and we have to shave it and you hurt your feelings. It's, it's, it's a lot. All right, sweet cheeks. You gotta blend the top of the skirt. So, um, of course, like, you know, I'm using a 15 under my uh, clip on today. Typically, I use a 30. You can use a 30, a 10, um, or a 15. I do not recommend a 40 because the 40 will break. Um, but, uh, like I said, today I'm using a 15. And then to blend the top skirt, now you can go ahead and blend it with a half an inch. Okay, but instead of blending it with a half an inch to get a better, um, you know, look, I'm gonna go ahead and use a two comb, and, which is a three, uh, three, uh, a three eight. And um, the reason why I'm using a, a, a three eight instead of a half an inch uh, to blend it in, it's because I did a seven on the body. If I had been a five on the body, I would have go ahead and do a, uh, a, a, a three on the, uh, on the top to blend it. I'm gonna tell you how you can tell. You know when you have your seven, if you're doing a, a, a reverse seven, seven on a dog, it comes to a 10. If you do a five, it comes to an eight. If you do a four, it comes to a seven. So think of your comb blade exactly like you think of your regular blade. So this would be a number four. If I did this in reverse, it would be a number seven. So I'm going down straight to um, you know, blend this up. So the four is gonna be on top of the seven, just kind of blend it together so you can just glide through. Come on. Do you want me? Okay, so we're blending. We're not taking big chunks off. We're just blending, okay? So pretty much we're just, you know, Skip it through. I'm scanning. I don't know. I got you. Same thing on the skirt here. Just come and go. I'm going to get you guys a better view. Oh, honey, I can smell you farting already. So 
this is all blended, okay? So if you see, uh, if you see that you can still see a little bit of line here, you can go ahead and use your thinners. If you don't want to use your thinners, go shorter with your um, clip comb, which is equivalent to a five. It would have to be um, your uh, the one fourth clip comb, which is the number four for some people. Me, I'm actually gonna use my thinning shears to take all the little bit that's coming out, okay? I mean, that's sitting out. Just kind of dip it. You don't have to go through it. It's kind of like when you're using your thinning shear. The thinning shears, you just kind of, you know, lightly do it. Lightly try it. You don't have to be heavy handed. Okay, so we'll be right back. Um, you can watch the third part of the video um, after I'm done cleaning.